Okay, so thank you everyone. As I just noted in my opening uh, comments, uh, the Peace Studies program is changing its name and it is also changed, some of the courses are also changing. So I'm going to talk about, you know, from the move from peace studies to um, uh, global peace and social justice. So just wanted to start with a brief uh, background. Uh, so the undergraduate um, academic program that we have uh, came out of what was the Center for Peace Studies. This was a center uh, that was established in 1989. And it came out of the shared concerns of scholars and physicians at McMaster, social science scholars, uh, humanity scholars, and uh, uh, physicians uh, who were uh, concerned about the effects of the Cold War. And so the collaboration with humanities, social sciences, and especially the Population Health Research Institute at McMaster uh, led to the introduction of an undergraduate course on peace studies. And then eventually we had the combined honors um, in peace studies, uh, as well, uh, the BA, as well as the minor in peace studies. So McMaster's uh, peace studies program, you know, continues to be uh, distinct for its strong connection to the health sciences, and it has developed expertise in researching and applying ways to build peace through health uh, initiatives. Uh, so the academic program, as you know, uh, we have uh, the uh, combined honors and a minor in, in peace studies. Uh, so what, what is peace studies? Or, you know, some of you are already in the program and I know some of you are thinking of joining the program. Uh, so I will talk about, you know, what is peace studies and what the shift to global peace and social justice uh, entails. Um, and I think that the changes are not extensive, but they are significant and uh, substantial. So peace studies is an interdisciplinary field of study, as you know from the courses that we have, uh, that it means that it draws upon subject areas uh, from uh, uh, faculty of humanities, science, health science, and social sciences. Uh, peace studies seeks to understand um, the reasons for social justice and violence on all levels, whether it's national, whether it's local, international, and then also to find ways to mitigate, transform, and uh, prevent uh, conflicts. So the courses that we have, sort of the aim of the courses is to equip students with knowledge of injustices of the past. Uh, so whether it's you know, wars between countries, whether it's war within countries, you know, based on ethnicity, the effects of colonialism, and the ongoing effects on colonialism, such as on indigenous communities, and raise awareness of uh, you know, ongoing, uh, ongoing violence uh, in our uh, sort of uh, societies. So courses equip students with the knowledge of injustice, the causes of violence, you know, it might be lack of resources, inequitable distribution of water and food, health inequities, that put particular communities at higher risk of falling ill or make it difficult for them to say access healthcare resources. Think for example, you know, with COVID-19 and uh, the data that is coming out about the effects of COVID-19 on say uh, seniors, you know, black populations uh, in, in, in Canada and the UK and elsewhere. Uh, so the hope is that the program uh, courses will allow students to have an informed understanding of their self um, and their wo uh, world by understanding the causes of violence, uh, causes of inequities, causes of uh, injustice, oppression in society, and also help us to um, examine our own responsibilities uh, for the situation in which others um, in local and distant places find themselves. Uh, so the courses that we have on the books, um, it, uh, it helps students to learn how to turn and transform relationships of conflicts, uh, build solidarity by learning about global and social injustices, unlearning some of the stories and histories we take for granted, listening to marginalized or little known stories and voices, as well as developing strategies for cultivating justice um, equity and peace. Uh, so, you know, in terms of, you know, McMaster's mandate of societal health and well-being, that's what the Peace Studies program has been doing and will continue to do as Global Peace and Social Justice program. 
So our courses you know, enhance critical thinking skills as well as writing skills of, of students. So then what, why is the program changing and what is going to be uh, different with the Global Peace and Social Justice Program? As I said, that the name of the program is, uh, is changing. Uh, the name of the, some of the course titles are changing. Uh, but uh, here is a description, sort of the calendar copy of uh, what the, how the program is described. So it is an uh, interdisciplinary program, uh, which will investigate systems of social inequities and injustice at the local, national, and international levels, so at the level of community, at the level of you know, neighborhood. Students in the program will develop research skills, practical knowledge uh, to understand the root causes of social conflict and violence. Uh, both in terms of politics and culture, and hopefully the program will help us to reimagine our world differently, find alternative pathways, and make transformations uh, and changes that can build you know, peaceful, equitable, and just communities. There are lots of opportunities uh, in the program, and we are hoping to you know, build on on that further with the Global Peace and Social Justice Program uh, so that there are more opportunities for um, experiential learning and more uh, access and involvement of students in public engagement um, events. So in terms of courses, uh, so these are some of the courses and you will also see some, you know, a greater emphasis, for instance, on race, uh, place, decolonization in terms of how the curriculum are changing. So some of you who are familiar with the uh, courses, you know, know some, you will see some familiarity here, peace building and health, law, peace and environment, media, popular culture, uh, indigenous histories. And then there are some new courses like creating social change, uh, race and place, uh, peace, justice, human rights. So, and I will talk a little bit later specifically about some new courses and some of the uh, changes in the entry level requirement to the program. So as you know, in terms of degree options, combined honors. Uh, oops. So a BA in peace studies and our. So uh, we have a combined honors and and a, and a minor, and that is still staying the same, uh, whether it's global peace and social justice or whether it's uh, peace studies. What we have done with global peace and social uh, justice, we have divided all the courses that we have on the books and the new courses that we are bringing in uh, into this four course list that you see here. Uh, that these four course lists sort of identifies our um, expertise, our uh, research expertise in terms of the scholars and instructors that we have and who teach in the program. So all of our courses are, are now divided into these, these four uh, categories. So course list one is health and environment. Second is human rights. Third is race, gender, and sexuality. And then finally, we have um, social activism. So uh, these are some examples. It's not an exclusive list, but it gives you a sense of the courses that are uh, that we now have under the course list health and environment uh, and again you know we have divided the courses but that doesn't mean that students have to take you know something from course list one and something from for uh, from course list two no there is no such requirement it is just a, a guide for students if you are somebody who is interested in questions of health and ecology and environment and climate justice, perhaps you would be interested in these courses. Maybe you are somebody who is interested more around sort of, you know, um, human rights and the work of the United Nations or UNHCR. So maybe you would be more interested in the courses that are listed under uh, the course list too, which is human rights. But there is no requirement that you do uh, you know, a sampling from four areas or not. It's entirely up to you, but it just allows you to see a pathway through the program. So these are examples of some of the courses. Some are, I have, as you can see, our course code is also changing from peace studies to peace justice. So, so the courses that you have there, which are called peace justice are courses that were already in the books, but just the course code has changed. So instead of peace studies, it's peace justice. And then there are other courses such as in history and English courses that you can take and it would count towards your uh, uh, peace studies, you know, combined honors or minor. Here is course list two, uh, human rights. So you'll see, you know, number of courses from history, indigenous studies and, uh, and policy, as well as peace uh, and uh, social justice program. Course list three, 
race, gender, sexuality. And then again, you can see um, you know, the courses here, the African diaspora courses, sorry, it, it went on the blue um, field there and you can see it too well. But again, you know, critical race studies, um, Caribbean slavery, Africa, children, youth and media, theories of decolonization resistance and so on. And then the final list is uh, course list four, which is social activism. And then you again have courses on you know, digital justice, Canadian literature of dissent, uh, you know, contemporary native literature, documentary politics and film. So again, you know, we have, you know, have some new courses that we have uh, added this year. And again, the ones that are peace uh, and justice, most of them are our old courses with slight changes, which I will um, talk about briefly here. So in terms of the requirements, uh, so the requirement has not changed. Uh, it is still the same 120 units total, levels one to four, of which 48 uh, units must be from the level one program. And if you are in level two and planning to come from, uh, join the uh, combined honors uh, in global peace and social justice and another subject, whether it's humanities or social sciences, we need, you need 30 units from the level one program co completed prior to your admission to the program. So again, no change in requirements there. Uh, level two, there is again, the requirement was six units from the four courses that you see identified here, conflict transformation, introduction to the study of war, human rights and social justice, uh, peace, justice, and popular culture. And what are, you see in red are the changes. So we already had a course called Peace Studies 2 CO3, Peace and Popular Culture. We have reworked the description of the course and we have accordingly changed the name of the course to Peace, Justice, and Popular Culture. One course has been deleted. So the introduction to the study of war has been deleted and we have replaced it with Peace, Justice 2 CS3, Creating Social Change. So that's the change in the level two. So uh, it's still six units, but one course has been changed. Level three, there is a new requirement now for those entering the program in September, uh, 2021. Uh, you have to do this course, which is Peace Studies 3CO3. It's called Researching Peace and Social Justice. Uh, so this is a new requirement. And if you're wondering why a requirement is being put into level three, this is based on student survey and uh, a number of students in the program saying that because it is an interdisciplinary program and because students are coming from you know, all kinds of disciplines within humanities and social sciences, it is hard for students to feel a sense of belonging or a, a sense of you know being in in the in the peace studies cohort so we wanted to you know uh, try out and see if having a required course where which all students will have to take and it's a sort of a research methodology uh, kind of a course if it would allow students to you know get to know each other socialize and have a sense of belonging to the program so that's the new um, requirement uh, in terms of level four, again, nothing has changed. Uh, again, with B studies, we had three units from a list of courses that you had to take from level four, and that remains the same. And again, nothing has changed. Uh, from the course list that, that I just showed you, one, two, four, you have to take 24 units. So it's the same courses, few more added to it, some description changes, but nothing has changed in terms of the uh, requirement. So the only require, program requirement that has changed is now a required level three course. Something that has changed for uh, those coming into the program at uh, level one is before uh, you will remember we had Peace Studies 103, Introduction to Peace Studies that you see on the screen. And that uh, course description has been changed. So what you see uh, sort of you know, um, uh, 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 cut out or deleted is the old course description. So Introduction to Peace Studies. That course is now renamed as Peace, Justice, Human Rights. And accordingly, we have a new um, course description, okay? So uh, the introduction to peace studies, if you have taken it, this will be an anti-requisite. Uh, and then we have also, uh, we are going to offer in fall 2021, a new course, an entry level course into the program. And this is called Peace Justice 1 v uh, VM3, uh, Voices at Mac, uh, Understanding Our World. 
And this course uh, we are really excited about. Uh, this is going to be a different kind of course than courses that you're ac accustomed to in, in humanities and um, social sciences, perhaps also in the sciences. Uh, this is going to be a multidisciplinary introduction to questions of peace, social and global justice. And through the perspective of scholars, that, that already work at MAC. We have some excellent award-winning world acclaimed researchers, and this would be a, a way to bring in their research into the course to showcase their work and create a better awareness of the amazing work that already happens at McMaster. So this will be all guest, primarily guest lecturers, who we will invite from different programs, you know, all of the faculties, health science, science, humanities, and social science, as well as, you know, events that are already happening in, on campus. So if we are having conferences, or if, if different departments are bringing in speakers, as long as their talk, you know, fits the mandate of the Global Peace and Social Justice Program, we will try to bring them into the class and try to you know, get, ask them to give a, a guest lecture for the course. So again, we're trying to build you know, more uh, collaboration, more connection with other faculty, both in terms of students and, and scholars. So that's the new course that will be offered uh, for the first time in fall 2021. What we've also done is the introductory course to uh, the Women's Studies program, which is also changing its name to Gender Studies. Uh, that first year intro course was called Women, Culture, Power. It is being changed to Race, Gender, Culture, Power, and that will also be an intro level course that will allow entry into the Global Peace and Social Justice Program. So unlike the Peace Studies Program, which had one course, now there are three courses that you can take uh, to either enter into the program, and if not, just to get a better understanding of questions of, you know, uh, peace studies, uh, social justice, global justice, oppression, in equities, human rights. So I'll get a better understanding of the local and global struggle. So, um, you know, those are the three level one uh, courses now. In level two, as I said, uh, we already had Peace Studies 2 CO3, Peace and Popular Culture, and now that course name and therefore also uh, accordingly the course description has been changed uh, to sort of align with the program name and student interest. So Peace, Justice and Popular Culture. Peace Justice 2 CS3, Creating Social Change is a new course. And then again, we have the course description there. I will also post this on, on, um, the, on the Peace Studies website. And then you know, when the new uh, course websites, uh, website comes to existence in, uh, at the end of June, we are hoping all of this information will also be there. You will see all of the new courses, the course list. But this is, you know, if you're wondering what's going on with the program, because you will remember uh, we did a survey. So it's based on your survey that we decided on the program name. Like most of you wanted peace in the program name. Most of you wanted global in the program name, but you also wanted social justice. So we tried to you know, come up with the name. And again, based on your interests and what kinds of courses and issues you want to see in the program, we've divided up the course list and also tried to bring in uh, new courses. So that's level two. And here is level three, as I said, that's, this is the new course. Before we had a course called Peace Studies, um, uh, 3CO3, uh, Research Methods for Peace Studies, and then we broadened it up, and we are calling it Researching Global uh, Peace and Social Justice. So this is going to, you know, uh, look at approaches, theories, and methods in global peace and social justice uh, research, and this will be, will be a requirement for those entering the program in, in fall 2021. Um, okay. Level four. Oh, sorry. And I wanted to just, this is not a um, change. Uh, this is our, as you, again, those who are already in the program know that we have a special topics course in level three and a special topics course in level four. And we have a new uh, faculty member joining us uh, on July 1st, 2021, uh, Dr. Ingrid Waldron, who is going to be the HOPE Chair in Peace and Health. And uh, Dr. Waldron is going to offer this course, Peace Justice 303 in winter 2022. Uh, the course is called Race, Place, and Geographies of Violence in Indigenous and Black Communities. Uh, so if you are interested, you know, please check this uh, course out. I, mean, I think it will be an amazing opportunity uh, to learn from Dr. Waldron. And this is uh, 
level four, as I mentioned already, no program changes. But I again wanted to make an, uh, you know, uh, an announcement of a new course. This is the special topics course. And this is being offered again in the acad this academic term, 2021-2022. Uh, and the 4ST T3 course is titled The Good, Bad and Ugly Immigration and Refugee Issues in Canada Today. And it will be offered by Dr. Alpha uh, Abebe. And so again, you have a description of the course here. Um, okay. What means the peace studies program? So, oops. And, and uh, what, where was I? And so in terms of experiential, you know, learning courses, we have uh, two courses, Peace uh, Justice, which was Peace Studies 3PO3, and what was Peace Studies 4BO3, they continue to be there. Uh, so if you are interested in, you know, in a practicum, uh, the first one, the level three one is a student initiated voluntary placement for, for one day per week. Often students will find organizations and then, you know, they will bring it to me and then, you know, I sort of check it out and see if there is a supervisor, what is the work involved, and we do up a, a contract. Uh, sometimes it's student initiated and sometimes local organizations will write to the peace studies program and say that you know we need volunteers or we need a research assistant uh, for this kinds of you know job in our organization you know can we have a student and then we put all of those up on our, on the website and then you know we also send out an email to all of the program students to let them know that this uh, opportunity uh, um, is available uh, the other one is the level four one, which is 4BO3, and it's a research project. So it's a student initiated research project where you work with a supervisor uh, in a topic of your interest. So, and those two courses continue to be there, just the code has changed from peace studies to peace justice. Nothing has changed in terms of content of the course. Um, peace, peace studies, as you know, is, a, uh, is an engaged discipline, which means we have experiential learning courses, but we also do a lot of public engagement events. And one of our uh, sort of key public engagement event is the annual Mahatma Gandhi lecture uh, on nonviolence that we organize uh, in fall usually. Of course, it depends on the availability of the speaker. And here are just on, on the slide, you can see some examples of some of the speakers that we have had in the last few years. Uh, so the last uh, Gandhi uh, lecture happened last November, and we had Dr. Uh, James Lawson and, and Honorable Dr. Jean Augustine, who talked, of, uh, talked about the movement from civil rights to Black Lives Matter. And then you have other examples of speakers from you know, previous years. And the whole list of speakers are available on, on the Peace Studies uh, website. Um, so again, during our conversation uh, after the, uh, during the Q&A, if you have thoughts on speakers or how you might want to get involved, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, and then we also sponsor, Peace Studies also uh, you know, sponsors a number of events. And one of those are the Hamilton's uh, annual Gandhi Peace Festival. Uh, the, uh, this is an image from uh, two years ago when we actually had physically uh, the Peace Festival and we could actually gather together. And this is in front of Hamilton uh, City Hall. Um, there is a peace march that happens uh, uh, along the da downtown core. And this is an image just before you know, the, the beginning of the peace march. And this usually happens on the Saturday close to Gandhi's birthday which is October 2nd. So the Saturday close to Gandhi's birthday, uh, we have a, a, a peace festival where peace activists, different organizations, uh, community groups, uh, you know, all gather in, uh, in front of City Hall. Uh, we usually have a keynote lecture. Uh, we have community speakers you know, dance, music, and a free food. And, you know, students are warmly encouraged to join. And again, you know, I, I'm trying my best to encourage more students to be uh, out and, you know, uh, uh, to join in this community uh, festival. And this is an example uh, from last year's Gandhi Peace Festival speaker. So every year the Gandhi Peace Festival also uh, invites a speaker. And last year's speaker uh, was um, Adrian Shad, who spoke about uh, Black Lives in Hamilton. She's little, written a book on Black Lives in Hamilton and she um, gave a talk. And, and this year too, uh, chances are that we will have an online Gandhi Peace Festival. Uh, so again, just to give you a sense of some of the uh, work that, you know, we have an academic program, but there is also a lot of work um, and support and sponsoring of events that happen uh, at the level of the community. And this is an example of that, you know, the Gandhi Peace Festival. And then we will often have different 
different organizations, you know, writing to us uh, to support events. And so, you know, we have regular events on campus as well as on, off campus um, that we support. And then finally, I just wanted I wanted to talk about uh, uh, oops. Uh, to talk about uh, some scholarships and awards that are specific to the peace studies program, the global peace and ju social justice program, and three of them, and they are uh, the new comprise, uh, which is primarily for um, uh, extracurricular activity and leadership, um, the Mahatma Gandhi scholarship, which is around based on academic uh, achievement. And then finally, the Marjorie Jones Award, uh, which is you know, based on um, participation in the life of, of the Peace Studies Global Peace and Social Justice Program. Uh, so again, you know, all of this information will be up there on the website, but you know, I open the floor up now and happy to answer any questions that you have or you know, ideas that you might have as to how we can you know, build the program, build a community, and work together as, as a community of you know, instructors, students, uh, you know, activists, scholars, community groups together. So thank you so much for joining in and, and listening to me. And you know, I'll just stop sharing the slide and I'll open up the floor for questions. Thank you so much. And I will stop the recording.